Okay, let's say we are finished with the TED test uh, survey and we want to upload it to the F5 cloud. So let's click back at the bottom right portion of the screen. That takes us to our home screen. And then let's click manage. Okay. Now at the top it says export surveys allow you to export surveys from this device to PC running force 5. So we're going to click that and that is going to give us the help screen to tell us how we could do this. We've already known how we can do this. It's simple enough. We're going to use the cloud to transfer. We've been working on TED test so we're going to ship TED test up to the cloud. So I'm going to click TED test. It's connecting to my account number. It has sent the survey TED test successfully sent to the cloud. I'm going to click on OK. Now we're back here. Again, now let's go back and let's just review importing. So if we were to import a te uh, well, let's say we're going to import another template and maybe start we don't have to import every time we're going to start. If the template's already on the um, Android device, we can just use it and start a new survey. But for right now, I'm just showing you how you can get on the cloud, on F5 cloud, and download a template or a survey. So I'm going to click the Import Surveys and Templates. Again, Cloud Services. And of course, you do need an internet connection to do any of this. Now this is showing a list of available surveys that are actually sitting there on the cloud. You see TED test is close to the bottom here. And then the available templates are pre-purchase, commercial fishing, uh, maybe a few more here. Yeah, I just spun that up. Uh, commercial fishing, computer discovery temp, blah blah blah, new pre-purchase temp. Okay, so I'm just going to bring down the reinsurance one at the bottom of this list. So I'm just going to click on this. If I needed to refresh this list, if it didn't show something I was looking at, and I, I was on Force 5 and thought that I had moved it to the cloud, and I'm not seeing it here, I can refresh. But for right now, I'm going to click Reinsurance Survey. Okay, now this is bringing it from the Force 5 cloud from F5 cloud to this device. So import template, template imported, say OK. Now I am going to go back again and I'm going to go back to the home page by clicking back again. Now let's start a new survey. I can click on new and the first thing I do is I have to select a template block. Okay, so here's my reinsurance survey template. So that's the one I'm going to use. Then I can give it a name. How about my TES test? Uh, vessel name. Uh, Mary. say Mary Join. I think I have plenty of them named. Oh well, Mary Jane. It just doesn't seem right. Because I should give it a let's see, J E. Okay, description. Um, you can kind of see why I don't like um, having to type on a small virtual keyboard. There are Bluetooth keyboards and other options you can use. Of course I messed up and left my uppercase key locked and prepared for 
E, E, D, okay. Additional notes, this is where I can put in test. Okay, so we're going back here. Now we've got our notes in there. We get rid of our keyboard and we go down to the bottom and click on create. Okay, get service. Oh, it looks like I missed when I jumped back, it missed the uh, template I had chosen. Okay, so now we click on create. Okay. So now we have a new survey. If you look up in the upper left corner, it's kind of small. It says my test. There's seven things completed, which of course is the name and that kind of stuff. We can go through the general information section or we can just jump right into systems. And we can start our survey right here. You know, selecting and moving to the next. And, or we can go to our item list and jump down through anything we want to address that we just happen to be standing by and don't want to miss it. Um, again, you've seen that demo in another little tutorial. So this is how you do that part. I'm going to go back to the home screen and we are going to exit.